Hello, I'm Spear Cocktails. I'm your host, Pierre Rare, and get ready to travel back in time because today we're making the Back to the Future the McFly cocktail. This is actually in honor of the 30th anniversary of the series. I feel old. 30 years ago. I was 7 years old when this came out. That's getting kind of old. I'm pushing 40. Three more years. Go figure. But this is actually in honor of that movie. The one thing this is based off of is the fact that in the first movie it goes back to the 50s. So you can have a kind of a malt flavored beverage. Not necessarily actual malt in it, but you're going to have your chocolate, your cream. A little bit of hazelnut flavor, which hopefully will bring in that malt concept to that. And some milk. Make it nice and creamy. But it's going to be a very flavorful cocktail. It's chocolate. You can't go wrong with chocolate. But one thing about the Back to the Future series... I grew up on that series. 30 years of watching the series. And they can come on TV. I'll watch it right now. It's that good of a series. I could watch the whole series. The whole trilogy in one sitting. You figure you're looking about, what, three, four and a half hours? That's not bad. It's better than sitting there through the full Lord of the Rings trilogy. Or all the Star Wars. If you watch all the Star Wars, you're basically sitting there for probably like nine hours or more. At that rate, probably like more 12 hours. It's a lot of hours. But this... I'll sit through it. Four and a half hours. I watch Rose Red out six hours straight. It's easy to do. But this is actually going to be the McFly cocktail. A little bit of chocolate. A little bit of malt flavor. It's going to be good. Let's show you how it's made. If I can grab the ice, it actually helps. First thing you want to do is take an ounce and a half of your chocolate liqueur. And yes, it has been a while since I used this, so not much left. But it's definitely crusted over. All that sugar and syrupy goodness. You want to take a half ounce of your Irish cream. Half ounce of hazelnut liqueur, we're going with Angelica. And three ounces of milk. There you go. You want know, to get that a good shake? And the idea you want to get with it is that kind of a chocolate milk, light chocolate milk color to it. So it could be definitely have some flavor, a lot of creaminess to it. Okay, good shake. Take that. Pour in a glass. This is definitely going to be creamy. There we go. Definitely creamy. As you can see, it definitely has a good amount of foam. It's a good amount of shake when you shake up milk. Your blood bubbles through milk when you're a kid, you're going to have that bubbly, creamy flavor. But it's definitely going to be flavorful. Let's try it out. Mmm. It definitely has a nutty flavor to it. Kind of, it does have a slight malt flavor if you ever have like a malt, like chocolate malt 
definitely some flavors that are in there. It's really smooth. It's very, very flavorful. It's definitely creamy. The chocolate you could taste throughout the whole cocktail. Yeah, that, I mean, it's not the biggest amount of ingredient in there, but definitely has a lot of syrupiness, a lot of flavor. So that's definitely coming in there. The cream, the ice cream definitely stands out. The milk definitely brings everything together. The hazelnut, it just adds some, a different type of character to it. It's a lot more flavor profile. Hmm. This is definitely something you can sit there, you can sip all day, perfectly fine. There's no burn, period. It's not, everything goes in there, it's not real strong alcohol. Because this itself is about 15%, so that's half and nothing. This is, I think, 22, if not mistaken. 17%. I guarantee you that's not that much either, because it's all the cores, no core spirit. But definitely flavorful. It has a lot of chocolate notes to it. You're getting that hazelnut, definitely comes through. Kind of gives that molly flavor. But it's really good cocktail. I definitely suggest you try this out. Let me know what you guys think about the fact that today, or this year, is going to be the 30th anniversary for Back to the Future. If you're a fan of Back to the Future, if not, you gotta watch it. But it's definitely, if you have watched it, it's a really good trilogy. It's one of the best ones out there. And I guarantee I'll probably watch it maybe a movie tonight. Just, it's that good of a series. But hope you enjoyed this cocktail. Sure, likes on Facebook, Constant Spirit Cocktails. Subscribe to our channel. Sure, donate to our Patreon account. Be sure to submit your cocktails. You'll find a link below. And again, this video, you'll find an email address you can send it to. It could be whatever you want it to be pop culture or basic. Name it yourself, whatever you want to name it. But submit. And um, if I have ingredients, I put them on the show. And I'm really looking forward to see what you guys have to offer. But as always, drink responsibly.